There were many variants of the coronavirus that has been discovered lately, but this Omicron variant has recently been on every news and articles. This is all because the Omicron has become the dominant COVID strain with a really, really high spread in just a few months after its discovery. When we were scratching our heads due to emergence of new variants, scientists have already discovered about sub-variants. We're talking about sub-variants. Yes, a new sub-variant of the Omicron has been discovered by the British scientist, which is named as BA.2. International data suggests it could spread relatively quickly, even more rapidly than its siblings. We have already started seeing the effect of its spread when we see symptomatic people all around us. This new substrain has now been detected in more than 40 countries. The UK Health Security Agency, UKHSA, had identified 426 new cases and these 426 cases were reported in just 10 days only from Britain where the dominant strain is still BA.1. So we can clearly estimate how much more cases would be where this strain has become the dominant subvariant strain. And this strain has mostly become dominant in India, Denmark and Sweden. This variant is designated as BA.2 sublineage, probably as a sequel version to the BA.1 variant, which is dominant in Britain. This BA.2 is still under variant on the investigation classification and it is yet to be classified as VOC or the variant of concern. But countries should not wait for the worst. Instead, they should be preparing in raising the level of alertness and should ramp up the surveillance before it crashes the country health system. It has now become the center of attention because of the rapid spread and due to which Extensive studies are being carried out to study its effect in future pandemics. Scientists are quite surprised of rapidity of the spread of this new subvariant and mainly in the Asian regions. It has already been spreading in Europe. France had expected a spike in mid January due to this new subvariant, and many more countries will show the same because the virus is more transmissible. Even though being more transmissible, it has a less virulence as compared to its original variant, that is, BA.1. Now, what's the difference between virulence and transmissibility? A virus is said to be transmissible when it can easily be spread from one person to another, whereas virulence is the character of any pathogen, in this case a virus, which makes it more dangerous, more lethal. So. A virus can be highly transmissible but less virulent and vice versa. This latest incarnation does not pose specific mutations different from BA.1. Observations from India and Denmark shows that there is no dramatic difference in severity compared to BA.1 variant. And what's good news is that there is no difference in vaccine effectiveness reported so far. Hence. The vaccine for the BA.1 will suffice for the BA.2 too. The first sequence of this variant was submitted from Philippines to GIS-8 with 6,411 sequences. Most of the samples of the BA.2 so far have been uploaded from Denmark. India has reported 530 samples of the Omicron sub-variant followed by Sweden with 111 and Singapore with 127 samples. In Denmark, BA.2 has grown rapidly. It accounted for about 20% of the all COVID-19 cases in the last week of 2021, rising to 45% in the second week of 2022. Now that's what makes it more important than others. It has been presumed that there could be possibly the emergence of second wave of BA.2. There already has been one wave of BA.1 variant across the world and it has been postulated that it is more resistant to immunity in the population, which allows it to infect more. The scientists are still puzzled if the infection from BA.1 would provide immunity against BA.2 or not. In case it does not, 
we must be prepared for something new again. And then, in fact, we might see two peaks of this epidemic. Yes, two spikes of epidemic from a single variant. And just because the death rate is low, it doesn't mean we should not worry about it. The longer it stays in human bodies, more there will be occurrence of mutations. And who knows, what if the mutations give rise to a super variant resistant to all the vaccines we have received? So let's break the chain and defeat the virus. Let's not take unnecessary move that increases the spread. That's all for today. Hope it was informative. This is Made It signing off. Made it, made it for you.